name is Stephen Kistler, and I'm a third year PhD student in the Applied Mathematics Department. And I do mathematical modeling of infectious diseases. Uh, specifically, I'm working on the transmission of the 2009 H1N1 flu pandemic. Um, it's interesting because flu pandemics come around a few times each century, and so getting in front of them is an important goal in, in terms of public health. The 2009 flu pandemic had some surprises for us, and we've been able to unpick through mathematical modeling how the disease was transmitted. So hopefully the next time one emerges, we'll be able to prevent it a little bit more easily. My name is Alia Khalid. I'm a Gates scholar, and I'm doing a PhD in education. My research is about exploring the ways in which mothers influence the education of their daughters in Pakistan. In contexts where equality in education is a persistent challenge, I see maternal influence as a viable solution. I belong to the northwest frontier of Pakistan, and it is one of the regions that was the first to be hit by terrorism. I've seen mothers lose their children and yet remain strong and progressive. I believe that empowering mothers creates a ripple of development that can exceed time and place. I am a daughter, I am a mother, and I'm well aware of the strength that this relationship can give a person. I'm hoping that with the help of my research, I can come up with the knowledge that will enable us to make use of this strength. Hi, my name is Greg Reeves. I'm a third year PhD student in plant sciences and Gates Cambridge scholar here at the University of Cambridge. Uh, my PhD project is focusing on um, making uh, improvements in crop productivity by boosting the efficiency of photosynthesis. Plants photosynthesize in many different ways and it happens that most of the crops use uh, inefficient versions of photosynthesis. So my work is trying to incorporate more efficient versions of photosynthesis into important crops like wheat and rice. And in so doing, we can increase yield uh, by a theoretical 50% boost. And also, this could uh, transfer water and nitrogen use efficiency. So producing more food for a, a growing world. My name is Emily Siggins, and I'm doing a PhD in history at the University of Cambridge. My research focuses on interoceanic canals, which are incredibly interesting because in these places like the Suez Canal and the Panama Canal, nations intervened to create links between ocean where there weren't links before. And I'm interested in the international legal and diplomatic questions that this raises. For example, how do you justify extending the law of the sea to these places where there wasn't previously sea and that used to fall under another nation's sovereignty? And then what legal mechanisms might you use to ensure that these waterways remain open given that they're going to be so strategically significant to so many nations. Hi there, my name is Alex Wood. I'm a second year clinical PhD student in the University of Cambridge, based at Addenbrooke's Hospital in the Department of Medicine. And I'm particularly interested in critically ill patients, the sickest patients in our hospitals, and particularly why they in acquire infections in the intensive care unit. And my research is focusing on neutrophils, the key white blood cells that may be affected in critical illness and thereby cause these patients to be vulnerable to acquiring uh, hospital infections. And what we're interested in the future is hopefully being able to identify targets for drug treatments that may reduce the risk of these patients getting these infections. Hi, my name is Elijah Mark. I'm a research associate at the Department of Psychiatry. My main research involves the use of neuroimaging to detect the very early brain changes associated with dementia. So we know that dementia is not a single isolated event. Okay, it, is a very, it has a very long silent phase that has started many years even before the onset of clinical symptoms. So the idea is to use neuroimaging to study brain changes in people with increased risk of dementia so that perhaps one day these brain changes may be used as a marker to identify vulnerable people who might already be on the pathway to dementia so that they can receive earlier treatment as well as a more accurate diagnosis. My name is Callie Vanderbilt. I'm a third year PhD student at the Center of Latin American Studies, and I look specifically at the way that museums and source communities in the Alta Veda Paz of Guatemala can reconnect using visual and virtual repatriation of Pickfill textiles, which is a white on white gauze weave textile that's been produced in the Alta Veda Paz for hundreds, if not thousands of years. In the communities where I work, a lot of weavers have lost specific textile traditions, not only because of colonization, but because of the impact of Guatemala's 36 year long civil war and um, four-year-long genocide in the 1980s. 
The ability for weavers to see and reconnect with historic textiles via visual or virtual repatriation of images allows weavers to retain and relearn patterns that they may have lost, which gives museums and source communities a new way to think and look at museum objects. Hi, my name is Camilla Ruiz, and I'm a Gates Scholar studying an MPhil at the Sanger Institute. Today, about one in two people in the UK will be diagnosed with cancer before they die. The hardest part, though, for doctors is picking what treatment might work for that person, because each cancer is unique, but today doctors have no real effective ways to pick which treatment might work specifically for you. For the cancer I work on, about 30% of the people who are initially diagnosed and treated won't be cured. And if they're not cured, the cancer will become resistant and they're then more likely to die. So I work on using artificial intelligence to pick the best possible treatments for patients with a specific type of cancer. The work is ongoing, but for another cancer type, we found that about 10% of the transplants could be reallocated to help more people and save more lives.